I introduce myself as the Hangman, and I hail from Los Angeles, California. So I worked for a long time, about 50 years, with my wife. We made enough money that we're going to be comfortable. I have enough money to burn a wet dog. My goal is to die broke and leave the undertaker a bad check. And I said to myself, you know, it's just me. I have nobody to leave my money to. I read the Bible, and I go out and help people with money that, that I can help, that will accept help. And I thought, I ought to treat myself to something before I die, and I will. I'm so old I don't buy green bananas. I decided to buy myself a Maserati, and I bought a 2009, the little small one, the 4.2 liter, and I liked it. So then I called and I said, do you have the big one? I'd like to trade this one in on the big one. So they had a 2009 4.7 liter, and I liked that. So then I ordered a 2010, and that's the one I have right now. And it's a wonderful car. It's just incredible. Uh, I've never had it. I don't like to lie on camera. I've never had it over 59 miles an hour in first gear. How fast have you gone? I don't know. I do my best thinking between 110 and 115 miles an hour. Of course, I don't think all day long either. No, everybody's after me. They're, all, they're sort of a friendly game. I used to be a deputy sheriff, so the highway patrol is watching for me. The deputies are watching. The city police are watching. We all have a little game going. But I have cruise control, and having been in law enforcement, I pretty well know where they are, what type of day. It's just a game. And I will tell you also, right on camera, if I'm going fast and I'm speeding and they want to give me a ticket or a warning, whatever, I will take it, I'll pay my fine, then they caught me. That's it. But right now, everything's fine. We still have the game going. I want to get a very unusual, totally unique Maserati paint job. I don't see why people who have the money to buy a nice gentleman's sports car can't have something on it other than a license plate with the dealer's you know, name and where they are. So I thought, since we're all one of a kind, you, myself, Bill Pelton, why can't I have something on my car that I want that's unique for me that you know, will make me happy, pleased, and show off a little bit? So people say, oh, hey, that's neat. Where'd you get that done? Bill Pelton. I'm from Canyon Lake, Texas. I've been doing this type of work for about 39 years or so. Back in junior high school, we do the high school guys' cars with names that they'd have for their car. And paint a name behind the front wheel on the side and a little pinstripe design on the hood and in trade they'd buy me a quart of beer and let me ride shotgun when they went drag racing on Saturday night and that worked for me and I, I really have loved it and, uh, all these years it's been great. I met Bill by accident. I was in Panama City, Florida. I was doing some pinstriping for different dealerships and Bill walked up behind me and watched and became friendly with my wife and myself and uh, we talked and said you know how do I do that and so forth and I gave him some instructions what to do first then he came and he took our course which lasted for 30 days and after that we've been well we've been friends for about 37 years. After graduating from the Hangman School of Sumi Art and some other prestigious university <laughs> I've had a wonderful career. It's a course in how to blend many colors inside of one brush, inside a paintbrush, like you paint a house. Okay, well, colors mix. As you know, if you put red and yellow, you're gonna get orange or some variation thereof. And this is an ancient art form called sumi A or sumi art. It goes back oh, probably well over a thousand years in China and Japan, but it was done with black ink. They had a big black, what you call a brick, of ink and they take a brush and some water and you just slurry back and forth through it and it'd be very thick real heavy opaque black then they thin it out a little bit more and it's sort of a you know you could almost look through it but not quite it was it was not quite opaque but it wasn't also translucent then they washed out even more and you could just actually look through it and see the paper behind it and they were doing all kinds of background foreground middle ground and making all kinds of beautiful you know bamboo and birds and animals and so forth in different stages of from pure black to almost, really almost nothing, just a haze of gray. And I thought if they can do it with watercolor, we can surely do it with oil-based paints. And of course, everybody I told, they said, you're crazy, that won't work. You know, and that's all it took. Now, I know I'm crazy and it did work. So what we do is we take a brush, a paintbrush, and we dip it in white. And then we wipe off one side, wipe off the other side, and we look roll that one side, we'll say through red, and the other side through, we'll say yellow. And inside, 
as we twist the brush and roll it around on the canvas or the car, all those colors mix inside. Colors you don't even have a name for. You know? And by the time you're through playing around with it, you can secretly load the brush with white and then add, say, one third of the brush, one third, one third. You can have red, yellow, blue. And when that happens and they combine inside, you can have as many as 15 or 20 colors coming off the same paintbrush at the same time. You know, a lot of people who, who I've had the privilege of working on their vehicles and so forth who have uh, taken first place in some shows and some things like that. And I've written several how-to articles for Auto Art Magazine, Bob Bond's Auto Art Magazine, uh, Lee's Summit, Missouri, they're a very prestigious trade magazine. This is a, this is a great privilege and, and it shows a lot of trust. Uh, in my abilities along with Jim Knapp and other people who are going to be involved in this project. Yes, it's just, this is quite a quite a, a, a wonderful experience and privilege to be able to do this. Uh, my name is Jim Knapp, uh, Moravia, Iowa. I've known Jim Knapp for probably 10 years. I've seen his work. I've showed him how to do the Sumi art. We've done some work for him. He's done some work, you know, for different people that I know. And we just become artist friends, you know artist slash friends. Yeah. And if I didn't trust him, I wouldn't be giving a $130,000 car to him for a week to see what he can do to, to see if he can do it. Yeah. I've seen him at like little seminar things or whatever, and I introduced myself to him and, I, and then we became friends you know, after that. Um, I've done some striping in the past, um, very archaic, and I, want, and, and I wanted to learn a little bit more at times. And, it's, it's art, uh, you have to stay at it all the time to keep it up. You know, you can't just draw, you know, hang a, hang a fender or whatever, paint a fender today and tomorrow. You know, you just got to stay at those, at the pinstriping end of it. Got uh, show winning cars at Good Guys and Super Chevy, that's where I got pretty, you know, back years, uh, late middle 90s uh, and had good guys in Super Chevy and we took cars and we started uh, getting known for uh, you know our craftsmanship and stuff like that and um, a lot of customers uh, Des Moines and Kirksville and you know Cedar Rapids and uh, Tum and, you know all the hot rods around the area are a lot of my customers you know you gotta have fun and enjoy what you're doing. Uh, I just totally enjoy cars yet. And uh, uh, when it comes to just a type of, you know, business where it's just cash turnover, you know, just the strictly money in and money out type of thing, you know, and I lose the thing for the cars, the love of the cars, I'm gonna call it quits. You know, I still love going, you know, and seeing all the colors and the, the artwork and the updated stuff and then meeting people, you know, Bill Pelton's, you know, very well known, you know, and Jim in his day was very well known, I mean, nationally well known people. And it's just, a, it's, that's part of the fun, you know, you gotta have fun with what, with what you're doing, otherwise, you know, it's not worth doing. I'm giving it to them now, and when it's done, they'll call me, I'll come back up, pay them what I owe them, and I'll drive it off and start trying to pass highway patrol cars real fast.